Hello and welcome to MTV, where this week's word is recharge. A couple of weeks ago, Fred and I attended a leadership conference called R3, Renew, Refresh, and Recharge. And I really needed to be recharged, specifically in the area of leadership. And I wanted to share with you um, that word for this week. When you think about a flashlight, and its need for batteries in order for it to shine brightly. Over time, the more you use the flashlight, the more those batteries wear down, and thus we would say they, if they're rechargeable batteries, they need to be recharged. Now I have here some rechargeable batteries, and I have a recharging unit. Here are some things that I know about these rechargeable batteries. As soon as I pull them out of my flashlight, the flashlight cannot be used for its intended purpose, at least for a short time. And then I have to put these batteries into the recharger. They've got to be plugged into a power source. And then after a period of time, those batteries get recharged. And then I am able to put them right back in that flashlight and that flashlight is shining brightly again and can be used for the intended purpose. Now you might be thinking, what in the world does this have to do with me and my need to recharge? Well, you know, these bodies are limited. We have a certain amount of energy and our, we need to be recharged. We need to be recharged physically, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, emotionally because we're going to go through cycles as well. If we don't plug into a power source and receive that recharge that we need in those areas, then what happens is our light becomes more dim and eventually we get worn out. We lack energy or desire to be able to interact with people, specifically to serve them, especially when we're expecting nothing in return. That can be very draining on, our, um, on the amount of energy that we have. So I want to encourage you in some areas where we could look to recharge. First, the mind. I don't know about you, but my mind gets moving and I have all of these thoughts and a to-do list, whether it be mental or it's on a piece of paper, and my mind can be constantly working over and over all of the time. Well, you need your mind needs rest as well. So one of the things that I've learned to do is before I go to bed every night, I take time to write down the things that are in my mind Mind, that list of things that needs to be accomplished for the next day. That way I'm not laying in bed thinking about all the things I better remember to do for tomorrow so that my mind can truly rest. What about your body? Do you know that your body needs adequate sleep? Now I have to tell you, I, I'm not good here. You know, they say that everyone should be getting at least eight hours of sleep, if not nine. I, I, I have yet to master that. Uh, what I do know though is when I go many days in a row without adequate sleep, uh, it's much harder for me to function um, at a high level during the day. I lack patience with um, my children or with circumstances. I feel more overwhelmed more quickly. The bottom line is our body also needs rest. You know, our energy level can be greatly impacted when we choose to exercise. See, we recharge our energy level when we actually spend anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes a day getting our heartbeat increased. It's good for the heart as well, but I would encourage you three to four times a week, even if you go outside and take a walk just to get that heart rate up and also to recharge your energy level. We need to be spiritually recharged. You see, our spirit is our God awareness. And the way that we can become spiritually recharged is getting in the Word of God, getting to know God more and to know what His Word says, the truth that exists there and all the different um, helpful uh, principles that it teaches us in living our life. And then, of course, we can be recharged in our very soul. You know, the soul refers to a self-awareness, being aware of myself in relationship to my environment. You see, when I take time and when you take time to have some self-reflection, things like asking yourself the question, what are my priorities? And am I living my life according to those priorities? What are my goals and dreams? And am I doing what is necessary to move toward accomplishing those goals and realizing my dreams? Self-reflection and really taking time to be self-aware is very helpful to recharge us. So whether it be mind, body, energy, spirit, or soul, or all of them, what I know is that it is important 
to recharge. For me, when I lay my head on that pillow at night, I trust that God is going to refresh me and prepare me for what lies ahead in the following day. I want to share with you Acts 3 verses or verse 19 it says now it's time to change your ways to face God so he can wipe away um, your areas where you miss the mark pour and then pour out showers of blessings to refresh you and send you Jesus the Messiah you see I know that I am refreshed daily because of that choosing to turn to God choosing to admit where I've made those mistakes and where I have fallen short short of the standard that he has set, choosing to accept what Jesus, the Messiah, has done for me. And what that verse promises is that when you do that, then God will um, send showers of refreshing on you. I want to encourage you today, choose to look to God. Allow him to show you areas where you need to make changes, where you need to be recharged so that you too can benefit from his showers of blessings. Have a great week and I'll see you back here next week for the next edition of MTV.